I was a big believer. You've got to ask and get levels deep, right? Like you can't just focus on the surface level and IULs are highly complicated products, period. And yes, you just buy it based on the surface level BS that these guys are selling you. You're going to get what you get. You know what I mean? Like you, you, you have to, this is why I always say, listen, you are where you are in life because of who you are in life, right? Like your understanding mm. of things. If you want to elevate to another level, you have to become more. You have to learn more. You have to dedicate yourself to educating yourself about this stuff. So if you make a surface level decision with your finance, with your finances and the products that you buy, you're going to get surface level results. And that Ooh. means you're, you're going to get 95, what 95% of the people in the world have is that it means you're going to get to retirement. You're going to have no dignity. You're not going to have your finances set it up, set up properly. You're going to hit this recession or potentially depression that we're coming into and you're going to get smashed. And you're going to be like most people, you're going to be focused on surviving instead of thriving and mm. like you have to be positioning yourself to take advantage of the opportunity that's going to come. A lot of people, sadly, I had another person last night send me another illustration, completely different story than what I was just telling you. And they're telling me like they got this policy and they're like, okay, I put $9,371 into this policy. I already went through it this morning with them. $9,371 into this policy, right? And they're like, what are my options? It was a national life policy, like, and, and they're like, what are my options? And I'm like, I don't know what your options are. Like, I don't know how long you've been funding it. They're like, it was been a year. And I'm like, well, like, they didn't even send me the illustrations. They're just like, this is what it is. I'm like, well, what's the surrender charges? They're like, I, I got my surrender value is zero. Zero. So I'm like, you're screwed. Like, you're, you're, you, you, you are you get no that. money. <laughs> you got nothing. And this is the thing. That is something that would never happen with a whole life policy if you work with somebody that knows what they're doing. We got a lot of viewers on here that are becoming new to okay. private banking. They're new to insurance. They're new to this, okay. this, this concept of dumping okay. cash into an insurance policy. So can we break down what yeah. exactly is a surrender charge? And why is that a big deal when it comes to being able to get access to your capital? All right. So this is this is a great question. OK, so it's probably my favorite question, actually. So the um, when when index universal life policies are sold, there's a couple components. I well, this is a hard one to break down simply, though. Um, so, OK, so when you when you look at an index universal life policy, let's just say for the sake of like easy round numbers, you're paying $10,000 a year into a policy. Okay. So when you're paying $10,000 a year into a policy, the insurance company starts you off with a high cap rate, right? Or a high participation rate or, you know, good performance in the policy. That's they, they, it's never going to be better than the day you buy it as far as like what the features are inside of the policy. And so what happens is as it gets older, the life insurance company knows that they can't manage those cap rates and the participation rates and all the things. They know that they're never going to be able to perform according to what it was illustrated at. They know before you buy this that it will never perform as you bought it. They know it 100%. I promise you that. So they know it. So what do they do? They have to add surrender charges to your policy because that what happens is there's two columns. There's a surrender value column and then there's an accumulated value column. The accumulated value column says, this is the amount of money you have here. It's kind of like that carrot they dangle in front of you that says, hey, if you just hold on long enough, this don't, is quit. <laughs> don't quit here. If you quit, this is what you're walking away from. You know, that kind of thing. So, so uneducated people, naive people just keep going, right? Because they go, hey, this is the amount of money that you're earning your interest on. But this is how much you have. Nothing, right? For this guy with $9,371, he's got... He's got like 7,000 over here, but he's got nine, like nothing over here, right? In the, in the surrender column. And so he's like, well, if I, if I give up, I lose this 7,300 bucks. Well, guess what? I'm a big believer. You should never throw good money after bad. Sometimes, always, I got news for you. Education is not free. And so for him, That's I right. said, Listen, you can keep throwing good money. It. It's not going to impact my life. You do you. It's, up to, it, it's your call. But if you want to, if you want to do this, you can keep spending to try to chase that accumulated column. Over time, what happens is the insurance company reduces the surrender schedule. So more of that money becomes available in the surrender column. However, what happens is over time, they do that and they know it. They reduce cap rates. They reduce participation rates. They do everything they can to reduce the performance of that policy. Now, I know a lot of IUL agents out there go, Chris, that's not true. That's not the way it happens. Blah, 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 blah. Here's the problem. Most IUL agents have, haven't been doing this, this business more than three, four years, right? 
I created the <laughs> IUL challenge because I was sick of everybody saying, Chris, that's not really how it works. Wait, okay. wait, 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 Chris, 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 wait, 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 wait. If we go give them, if we go give them the smoke, Chris, we got to slow it down for them. Okay, 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 okay. sorry. Okay, okay, okay. Go ahead. okay so, so just in case you all didn't know, okay, Steve, are you listening? Okay, so, so just in case you all didn't know, Chris Kirkpatrick with Life 180, is so bold, kind of like Cousin Jake, is so bold that he said that if your policy is what you say that it is, mm -hmm. I have an IUL challenge that says that I would pay you a specific amount of money if your policy is doing exactly what your agent said that it would do. He even opened it up to agents, right, Chris? I open no, yeah. I mean, it, it's geared towards agents because I'm sick of agents telling me it could be done. Listen, let, let's talk about this real quick, okay? What is the like? I want to hear what is the context, the premise of why agents believe in IUL and why and how people are sold on IUL. Oh, it's very simple. You know, you got a cap with zero percent floor. There's no way that you can absolutely lose because even if the market happens to become the worst of the worst markets, you can never get below zero. Right. Exactly. So, and you have the upside, right? So you can upside upside protection. If the market <laughs> does up to, if I got a ten percent cap or an uncapped index, right? Like you could get whatever you have on the upside, but you can never lose your money. So maybe your upside isn't as high, but you can never lose your money. And so that's that's how it's sold. And that sounds like this amazing story. Well, I got news for you. So this is why I did the I, IUL challenge. This is the foundational context of why I did it. Because A, it never works like that. They never perform the way they're sold. And if, in fact, you have upside potential, right? If, in fact, you have upside potential and it's going to be this great tax-free income vehicle when you get later in life, when you hit those distribution years, if that's the case, we just came through the greatest bull run of all time, right? Correct. Is I don't think that is not disputable. That is a fact. Fair enough? Yes. Facts. Okay. Greatest bull run of all time. What is a bull run? I, 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 I interpret a bull run as upside, don't you? That's right. The market's yeah. going up, okay. up, up. So greatest bull run, greatest upside potential that we've ever had in the history of the indexes. Yet, IUL, perform, IUL policies still didn't perform as they were sold over the past 10 years. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. So you're telling me, Chris... I'm sure the viewers want to know this. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Chris, you're telling me that during the greatest time and almost yeah. probably one of the greatest times in American history, yeah. as it pertains to the market growth, yep. that IULs did not perform right. to what they were projected to perform during 100%. one of the greatest times in American history. 100%. And here's the deal. And this is the this is why I did the challenge, because I was sick of all these people on TikTok and Instagram and YouTube selling IUL as this magical financial vehicle when the people that are selling it don't even know what they're selling. A. And so I said, listen, I don't care about your opinion. I'll tell you what, I don't even care about mine. Like in this context, just what I care about are facts. So I'm going to start this challenge and I'm going to see what happens. So I started it off at 500 bucks and I said, all right, Anybody that can show me a policy that's 10 years old where there was the original illustration through the greatest bull run of all time and then show me an enforced illustration that technically on paper should have destroyed the original illustration because we've gone through this great market. So if you're taking advantage of all the upside, you should have better results, right? And so I said, listen, I'll give somebody 500 bucks. If somebody could just show me one policy, one, I'll give them 500 bucks. Nobody was doing it. So I said, you know what? Maybe I'm just, maybe, maybe 500 bucks isn't enough. Maybe it's not. I'll give them a thousand bucks. Maybe somebody will give me, maybe it'll be worth their time if I give them a thousand bucks. I mean, it'd probably take somebody 20 minutes to pull it up. So that's like 3000 bucks an hour to pay somebody to give me like to prove me wrong. And plus I would, I, I on top of that, even more valuable, probably I said, I bring them on my channel. I interview them. I, you know, whatever. And guess what? Nothing like nobody. I've had over 700,000 views of videos with IUL challenge in it focused on that talking about it, pushing people, and not one person has been able to step forward. 